Okay, this article was from Psychology Today, and it was Men's Silence in Relationships by Avram Weiss, PhD. And his basic premise is, men's fear of conflict in relationships may lead to unhealthy withholding. And, and I wanted to say a couple of things about that because I, I deal with that a lot. I've been working with men for some years, and uh, I have some things to say about that. So I, I think that conflict definitely plays a part. Men want to try to avoid conflict for numerous reasons. We'll get back into that in a minute. But um, I think it's three other reasons why men uh, withhold in relationships. Sometimes I think like romanticism make, uh, leads to men withholding in relationships. Sometimes I think men are more romantic than women in, in the sense that... Uh, they think that there's just one person that will do it for them. You know, just, just this one person in life is made for me. And if, without this one person, I, I'm not going to be all right. You know, so we're scared of breakups is what I mean. Once we get with somebody, we're scared of breaking up um, sometimes. And, and then another aspect of r r romanticism is that if someone really loves me or if I'm really in love, there'll be no conflict. We'll just be compatible and get along and we'll just walk off into the sunset. Okay. And then another idea um, from romanticism is that if we really love each other, uh, we won't have to change. I won't have to change anything. If you really love me, you'll accept me as I am. If we have any conflict around that, that is a sign that we don't love each other. I think those ideas contribute to uh, men withholding and being afraid to get into relationships and having trouble in relationships. I think men also fear women. A lot of men fear women. If when I look on the internet, it doesn't take me long to find men talking about relationships. They or a lot of what they say is based on their fear of women. Like one of the themes is that a woman is going to take off. I'm going to marry her. We're going to commit. She's going to leave me and take all my stuff. You know, an, another fear is that we're going to get into a conflict and the police are going to be called and I'm going to go to jail. Uh, another fear is uh, if I commit to this person, I'm going to be trapped. Or I can never have sex again with anybody else, and and I'm committed to this person. And uh, what if it doesn't work out? And then, you know, other men promote that kind of idea. You know, um, you know, men train other men on how to be a man, how to be in relationships. It's a lot of bad game. It's a lot of fake game going around out there. It's a lot of dudes. You know that that uh, have bad role models and not good in relationships themselves, divorced, all this kind of stuff, doling out information about relationships and, and, and promoting the idea that women are not only adversaries, but that there are different species. You know, like, like women are so different that we could never understand them, never get along with them, and that they need to be watched. You know, kind of similar to the way white folks did black folks in during slavery. You know, that's called pseudo speciation. That's the word for it. That's when you turn another person because they're different into something subhuman. And then when you feel like a person is subhuman, you could like do all, you can abuse them. So a lot of men are talking about women. You know, even the book, uh, I don't mean to say anything negative about this book, but the, but the author, the title of the book, Men are from Mars, women are from Venus. You know that book, right? That's almost putting it like men and women are two different species. And so this all leads to men being afraid, afraid of women. And we don't say that. We don't say that. What we do is we blame women. We project it all out onto the woman. Like we have a problem outside of us moving toward us rather than we have beliefs and ideas and bad information that's acting on the world. 
You see, the shame won't let me look at my part in it. The shame won't let me uh, explore my thoughts and feelings because it's too um, anxiety producing. And so I don't talk about that. I don't talk about my part. I don't talk about the way I see women. And of course, sitting on all of that, sitting under all of that is a fear of conflict. Because, you know, in black and brown communities, if you get into it with your with your partner, if you got poor conflict tactics, you get loud, you you scare your neighbor, you know, Karen will call on you. And the next thing you know is, could you step out of the house, please? And then it's on at that point. So we got a reason to be afraid. But in order to have a good relationship, we got to be willing to look at our fear and admit that we're afraid. Got to get someplace, talk to another man about that fear so we can process that. Because fear kills happiness. It kills intimacy. You know? And men live longer in relationships. So we really need to look at how our relationships are put together, what our strategy is in relationships, and improve our skills, our interpersonal skills. Because we can do very well in relationships. When we're willing to change ourselves, when we're willing to look at things, you know, you're not made of concrete. You're going to have to change. You know, when you get into a relationship with somebody, then you constantly got to change. On your job, you constantly got to change. So this is no big deal. It's not exclusive to relationships. So uh, I'm a, I put the article in the, in the uh, description below. Get down into the comment section. Let me know what you think about this. And of course, you know, you don't have to agree with me, right? But I just want to, I want to hear what you got to say about this. Come on, man. Got to improve these relationships. Till next time.